This easy to boot video is about how to add a sub menu to the main menu of easy to boot. In this example here I've added a Fred menu to easy to boot. You can see I've got an entry here called Fred menu and it's got a hotkey of control F. If I hit control F there's the new sub menu called Fred and in it I've got the ISO, uh, the Ubuntu ISO. If I hit F8 it will go back to it. And here's how to make it. On your easy to boot drive you'll find there's an underscore ISO folder and then there's the docs folder which has most of the uh, utilities and all sorts of spare files, help files etc, sample menu files which you might find useful for easy to boot. If you don't want this folder you can actually delete the entire folder easy to boot will still work uh, if you want to save the space. So on here you've got an E2B utilities folder and in there you've got an E2B submenu maker.cmd file which will make the submenu file for you. So let's assume you want to make one called clone. So let's run the file and first of all it asks you what drive you want to make the uh, submenu on. In this case it's going to be drive F which is my E2B drive and then it lists the folders that are on the uh, underscore ISO folder. So in my case uh, I want to make one called clone so the new folder name that I want to make will be called clone so it'll be slash ISO slash clone. So now we need to list the uh, menu headings so in this case um, I'll have a clone, clone menu for demonstration purposes I'll just put heading there though you won't want a heading. The next thing it asks us is the uh, the menu entry so what the what the main menu entry is that we want in the main menu and uh, maybe we want this to have a hotkey so to put a hotkey in just use uh, the two hat symbols and then control plus C in this case so we'll have control C as the hotkey this defines what hotkey you're going to use the next bit after a space is the text that will appear in the main menu. So we'll just say clone menu and uh, the hotkey that you use should be uh, put in, uh, we can, we can, we'll just put it in square brackets because that's what E2B uses for the other menus but you don't have to put anything in here. Whatever you put in here will show up on the menu entry in the main menu. So just to show the user that control C is the hotkey for this we'll put control C there in brackets but it's pure text at this point. And then lastly the help text this appears underneath the menu so when you highlight the clone menu menu entry in the main menu underneath the box you'll see uh, uh, help text listed and we can put anything here we like. So we can put um, this runs the clone menu. Just This is just an example and if you want another line um, just put slash n and anything you want on the second line and if you want a third line you can do slash n and if I can spell third line. Okay when you finish that it's, it'll tell you what it's going to do so that's the contents that it's going to put in the file called zz submenu dollar clone dot mnu and that file will appear, appear in the ISO main menu folder. So just say yes to that. Uh, it just loads notepad to show you the file it's going to write. Um, and uh, if everything's OK, just quit. If not, uh, you can edit it and then save it. So I'll just show you what it looks like in the menu. So there's our clone folder, but it's empty. So we need to put something in there for it to show up. So let's put Ubuntu in there and of course we need to make that contiguous so we can use the make this drive contiguous script and it's done it. So now let's see what it looks like. Okay so there's the Fred menu that we had before and let's just go uh, back up to the uh, go to the bottom of the menu so I'll just go up until it gets to the bottom wrap around and there we've got clone menu Control C and at the bottom you see the help text in yellow which is this runs the clone menu second line third line so that's what we entered for the help text and let's just do Control C to see if that works okay so there's the clone menu heading which is what I typed in for the heading 
and there's our ISO file which we can run or we can press F8 to get back to the main menu. And if you want to change the order and have this at the beginning of the menu then like the Fred menu you can just put a dollar in front of the MNU file. So here's our ZZ submenu dollar clone which is our new file um, and just rename this to dollar ZZ submenu and if we reorder this it'll show you what the order is going to be so it's going to be the default menu is going to be first then there's going to be the clone menu and then there's going to be the Fred uh, submenu. So let's see what this looks like now. And there we go, we've got the clone menu at the beginning followed by Fred and then we've got an Ubuntu uh, ISO file there. And that's how to reorder the menu. Thanks for listening.